for kids to see themselves stronger, braver. To see that the impossible is possible. Wishes can give kids the strength to fight, to get better, to grow up. Where there's a wish, there's a way. Mahalo Hawaii for stopping by our annual school tools drive and making it another huge success. Your generous donations will help thousands of Keiki in need with basic school supplies and setting them up for the next school year. We couldn't have done it without your kukua and these amazing sponsors. gunfire and chaos at a California food festival. He was just firing into the biggest bunch of people he could find. Shots fired into the crowd, triggering panic. Among those running for their lives, this couple pushing a child in a stroller. Band members dodging bullets, hiding under the stage. We got one shooting victim at Miller and Eunice. I need an ambulance code. What we've learned about the shooter, a possible second suspect, and the many victims killed or injured. Plus, the security breach police are investigating. Also this morning, the battle over Baltimore. President Trump slams the city as a rat-infested mess, leading to claims of racism as he targets veteran Congressman Elijah Cummings. Why Trump says it's the Democrats who are playing the race card. Murder in Rome. New questions about the treatment of two American teenagers accused in the killing of a police officer. The illegal blindfolding of one suspect and what his family is now saying. Plus, the new concern about sharks after two more people are attacked in Florida. Grasshopper invasion in Las Vegas getting even worse. And Game Changer, the team who just won $3 million playing a video game. From ABC News in New York, this is America This Morning. Good Monday morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We began with that deadly shooting rampage at a food festival in Northern California. At least three victims have now died, including a six-year-old boy whose mother was also reportedly shot. ABC station KGO sharing this picture of that little boy this morning. The gunfire sent people scrambling, running for their lives, including one couple fleeing while pushing their child in a stroller. Police say officers killed the shooter, but they're now investigating whether the attacker had an accomplice. The festival is a popular family event each year in the small city of Gilroy, about 80 miles southeast of San Francisco. ABC's Megan Tavrizian is here with the latest. Good morning, Megan. Hi, Kenneth. Yeah, the shooting happened at on the third and final day of one of the largest food festivals in the country that attracts celebrity chefs, musicians, and tens of thousands of people. A fun weekend festival turning deadly Sunday. Some random dude just started shooting. Like he just pulled out a gun and we were just eating right there. It just started popping off like fireworks. It sounded like firecrackers. I, that's what I thought it was. I had no idea until he grabbed me and he started pulling me and telling me that's, that's gunfire. We need to get out of here, go, run. Authorities saying at least four people are dead, including the suspect. Many more were injured. He just like shoot once and then he like stopped and then he just started shooting repeatedly. The shooting happened around 6 p.m. West Coast time. A man opening fire while the band Vital Sound played on stage. One member telling our San Francisco station KGO he heard a pop and saw a shooter with what appeared to be an assault rifle. He was just firing into the biggest bunch of people he could find. I was just going, holy crap. Authorities saying the suspect gained access to the festival from a creek, using some sort of tool to cut through a fence. The suspect shot down by Gilroy police, but authorities believe there could be an accomplice. This morning, the community of roughly 50,000 people in disbelief. To have seen this event end this way this day is um, just one of the most tragic and sad things that I've ever had to see. It's just a horrible thing to experience. And law enforcement officials say they've identified the suspect and are investigating if he has any connections to the festival. And we're learning more about that six-year-old victim. His name is Stephen Romero. His grandmother says he was a loving and happy boy. His mother is expected to survive after getting shot in the stomach and hand. Kenneth. Thank you for those details, Megan Terizian. Thank you. 
Now to another shakeup at the White House this morning. President Trump has chosen a replacement for Dan Coach, the director of national intelligence. Coach is resigning after being at odds with the president for much of his two-year tenure, publicly clashing over the issue of Russian meddling in the 2016 election. The president is expected to nominate Texas Congressman John Ratcliffe for the job. Ratcliffe is a former U.S. attorney who had a fiery exchange with former special counsel Robert Mueller last week. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is among the Democrats criticizing the choice, claiming Ratcliffe has been selected because of, quote, blind loyalty to the president. Next to the fallout over President Trump's attacks on Congressman Elijah Cummings and his district, which includes the city of Baltimore, the president is denying that his criticism of the black Democrat was racist. Instead, he's accusing Democrats of playing the race card. This morning, President Trump defending himself against charges of racism. In more than a dozen tweets over the weekend, the president took aim at Congressman Elijah Cummings, calling his majority black district around Baltimore a disgusting rat and rodent infested mess where no human being would want to live, and using the hashtag Blacks for Trump 2020. The attack comes more than a week after Cummings took on acting Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McAleenan, criticizing the administration's immigration policy. None of us! would have our children in that position. They are human beings. Trump has used the word infested before to criticize minority members of Congress, including earlier this month when he suggested four congresswomen of color, all of whom are American citizens, go back and help fix the totally broken and crime-infested places from which they came. Well, the president is, as he usually is or often is, disgusting and racist. And now the president insists Democrats are the ones playing the race card, tweeting there's nothing racist and stating plainly what most people already know, that Elijah Cummings has done a terrible job for the people of his district and of Baltimore itself. The president's chief of staff claims Trump's comments are appropriate. If I had poverty in my district like they have in Baltimore, I'd get fired. And I think the president is right to raise that. It has absolutely zero to do with race. This morning, the city of Baltimore is pushing back. The Baltimore Sun newspaper published a scathing editorial saying better to have a few rats than to be one. And when the president attacked the four congresswomen earlier this month, the House passed a resolution condemning his comments. Some lawmakers are, su are suggesting they do that again. Now to the leadership crisis in Puerto Rico. The woman in line to be the next governor says she doesn't want the job. Ricardo Roseo will be stepping down Friday. Justice Secretary Wanda Vasquez was supposed to replace him. She was tapped because the Secretary of State resigned over those leaked offensive messages, which ultimately led to the governor's downfall. Vasquez now wants Roseo to appoint a new Secretary of State who can then replace him. An outspoken critic of Russian President Vladimir Putin may have been poisoned. That's according to a doctor for Alexei Navalny, an opposition leader jailed in Moscow. He says Navalny suffered symptoms from an unidentified chemical substance. Meanwhile, more than 1,000 people have been arrested in Moscow while protesting the exclusion of opposition candidates from an upcoming election. Time now for a look at your weather on this Monday morning. People living west of Minneapolis are cleaning up after some reported tornadoes swept through the area, causing this damage. The twisters knocked out electricity, but no injuries are reported. In California, 154 acres have burned in a fast-moving brush fire. The fire in Chino Hills outside Los Angeles damaged a house, but crews say they've now stopped the fire's progress. The far west and southwest will stay dangerously hot for the next few days. Las Vegas is among the cities that will see temperatures in the triple digits. Coming up, the new breakfast cereal that kids may soon be singing for. But first, the dramatic scene as a plane crashes into this lake, how the pilot and passenger both survived. And later, the American swimmer setting a new record in the pool Sunday that would make even Michael Phelps envious. Whether you're a professional or a weekend warrior, you are only as good as your clubs. Come visit us at Pro-Am Golf. Check out our new PXG fitting suite that will match you up perfectly with the right set of clubs, not to mention personal instructors to help perfect your technique. We are the largest locally owned dealer of golf equipment in Hawaii. With competitive pricing, selection, and Hawaii's only repair shop open seven days a week, we are sure you won't want to go anywhere else than Pro-Am Golf. So, what's the end thing? An accident thing.
Rediscover Hawaii's original all-day breakfast and things at Eggs and Things. So, what's the end thing in Eggs and Things? Rediscover Hawaii's original all-day breakfast and things at Eggs and Things. New Hope O'ahu brings an inspiring message for life each week. Join us here on KITV, Saturday nights at 10.30, right after Island News. I had my first drink when I was probably nine. What did you say? Her addiction is out of control. You're 35. And you have cirrhosis of the liver? Yes. Can she quit? It's so bad that they actually want to get you on the list for liver transplant, but you're not able to get it. Why? Because I'm still drinking. Then you cheated on Sean two days after you all got together. What happened when you guys took a break? I left town, and she slept with three guys. Face the truth. Face the truth, Monday at 2 on KITV4 Island Television. You know, you don't need to wait on the sun to say good morning, Hawaii. Lots of people are up before dawn, and we are too. Join Good Morning Hawaii weekdays at 4.30 in the morning to get an early start on everything you need for your day. GMA this week. It's Dwayne Idris. And if that's not enough, three epic bachelorette mornings and Hannah B. Live. Good morning, America. Plus, Pitbull's here too. We're back with this train derailment south of Chicago. That Amtrak train hit a truck, killing the driver. Five passenger cars derailed, but no one on the train was seriously hurt. The crash happened at a crossing. Officials say the signals were working. And heavy winds may have played a role in this small plane crash in Michigan. The plane nosedived into Little Field Lake with two people on board. Good Samaritans rushed in to help rescue them. We didn't have a good feeling the pilot was in pretty good shape at the time. The passenger was seriously hurt. It's just it's such a shocking thing to, to see firsthand. And the, the way it crashed, it just uh, was so scary. And the passenger in that plane remains in serious condition. Breaking overnight, the manhunt for the suspects in a Canadian killing spree has moved to a remote northern town. Police say they may have been seen in York Landing, Manitoba, more than 400 miles north of Winnipeg. Local residents there have been warned to stay indoors. That pair is wanted in connection with three murders, including the killings of an American woman and her boyfriend. Tributes are pouring in for Rusty Taylor, the voice of Minnie Mouse for more than 30 years. She died over the weekend. Taylor married the man who voiced Mickey Mouse, Wayne Allwine, in 1991. Disney chairman and CEO Bob Iger said her work will continue to entertain and inspire for generations to come. Rusty Taylor was 75. Baby Shark is coming to a supermarket near you. Kellogg's is launching a cereal inspired by the famous children's song. Its flavored rings and floating marshmallows will be available next month at Sam's Club before coming to Walmart in September. The cereal does not come with the song. Thank goodness. At least we hope not. Coming up, a major league pitcher has a major league temper tantrum. But first, the new concern about how two American teenagers accused of killing a police officer in Rome are being treated by police. Plus, two more shark attacks in Florida. We'll hear from one of the victims coming up. Did you know you can save money by using dish soap to clean grease on more than dishes? Using multiple cleaners on grease can be expensive and sometimes ineffective. For better value, tackle grease with Dawn Ultra. Dawn is for more than just dishes. It provides three times more grease cleaning power per drop, which cuts through tough kitchen messes, pre-treats laundry stains, and even tackles grease buildup on car rims. Tackle tough, greasy messes around your home and save money with Dawn Ultra. Brand power helping you buy better. COPD makes it hard to breathe. So to breathe better, I started with a Noro. COPD tries to say go this way. I say I'll go my own way with a Noro. Once daily, a Noro contains two medicines called bronchodilators that work together to significantly improve lung function all day and all night. 
Anoro is not for asthma. It contains a type of medicine that increases risk of death in people with asthma. The risk is unknown in COPD. Anoro won't replace rescue inhalers for sudden symptoms and should not be used more than once a day. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition, high blood pressure, glaucoma, prostate, bladder, or urinary problems. These may worsen with Anoro. Call your doctor if you have worsened breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinating, vision changes, or eye pain while taking Anoro. Ask your doctor about once daily Anoro to start treating your COPD. PD. Go your own way. Save at anoro.com. The pink. Let's go, Mitz. Go, Tyler, Daddy. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, hey, my head you off. don't know what it's like. That's crazy. You don't know what it's like. To love somebody. To love somebody. We turn now to the two Americans accused of murdering a police officer in Italy. The officer will be laid to rest today at the same church where he got married just weeks ago. Police in Rome are releasing new details about the crime amid new questions about how the suspects are being treated. This morning, two American teens are behind bars accused of murdering a police officer in Rome. One of the teens is seen in this photo blindfolded and handcuffed in a police station. The police commissioner calls the blindfold illegal and a mistake. Officials say the image was taken after suspects Gabe Natal Jorth and Finnegan Elder were taken in for questioning for the stabbing of officer Mario Cerciello Rega. Police say the confrontation started when the two suspects, both tourists from San Francisco, approached a man and allegedly asked where they could buy drugs. The man led them to a dealer who police say sold them fake cocaine. The two Americans, growing angry, allegedly went back to the scene and stole the backpack of the man who pointed them to the drug dealer. Police set up an undercover operation in response, and that's when Officer Rega was stabbed eight times. Security footage allegedly shows the two suspects fleeing the scene. Police say the teens confessed to the crime. Well, I've known Finn since he was born, and I'm in shock. He's the nicest guy, one of the nicest neighbors I, I, I have. Elder's family released a statement saying, We express our deepest condolences to the grieving family and community that loved Brigadier Cerciello Rega, adding, We are deeply concerned for our son and are heartened by the expressions of sympathy and support from our friends and neighbors. In the meantime, crowds lined up in Rome to pay their respects to Officer Rega at his wake, Italy's prime minister among the mourners. There may be shock and disbelief back home in America, but in Italy, there's anger and outrage. This is becoming a huge political issue. It's leading all the newspapers and TV news. And this morning, Italy's deputy prime minister reacting to backlash over the image of the blindfolded suspect, writing on Twitter that Officer Rega is the real victim, adding that the teenagers deserve life in prison. And at a hearing this weekend, both Americans waived their right to speak. Court records show they blamed each other for the murder. According to Italian law, anyone who participates in a murder can be charged with murder, even if that person did not deliver the fatal blow. The FBI hopes the public can help track down the so-called Pink Lady Bandit. The woman is wanted in at least four bank robberies in three states this month, from Pennsylvania to Delaware and North Carolina. She got the nickname from the Pink Handbag. She carried during two of the holdups. The FBI is offering a $10,000 reward. Beachgoers are on alert after two shark attacks over the weekend off the Florida coast. Professional surfer Frank O'Rourke was bitten in the arm while surfing at Jacksonville Beach. He managed to get away after a struggle, but he suffered several puncture wounds. I was just laying on my board right over behind me and waiting for a wave. All of a sudden, so shark comes out of the water and grabs onto my arm. Uh, you have uh, all the, the teeth, the rows of teeth, kind of just clamped onto my arm. Oh, about an hour later and 100 miles away, a man was bitten in the leg while boogie boarding. At least two dozen shark attacks have been reported this year. Sightings have forced beaches to shut down on both coasts in California and Massachusetts. In sports, an American has scored a record performance at the World Swimming Championships. Caleb Dressel won his eighth medal Sunday in South Korea. That breaks the record set by Olympic champ Michael Phelps. Dressel is also now third all-time with 13 gold medals at the World Championships. 
And history was made on the streets of Paris. 22-year-old Egan Bernal has become the first person from South America to win the Tour de France. The Colombian is also the youngest winner in more than a century. He won the 21-day race by about 70 seconds. Indians pitcher Trevor Bauer is apologizing for his angry and unique reaction to being taken out of the Cleveland's game Sunday. Bauer saw he was being replaced, then threw the ball over the center field fence in Kansas City. He says his intensity consumed him and that he won't do that again. The Indians lost that game. Reminds you, reminds you of a little boy. I was going to say like, a spanking and a timeout might be. <laughs> <laughs> Up next in the polls, the grasshopper invasion in Las Vegas gets even scarier. Also ahead, the 16-year-old who just won $3 million playing the video game Fortnite. And you have to hear from this little boy who saved his family during a fire. His unique ability coming up. Corey is living with metastatic breast cancer, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of her body. She's also taking eye brands with an aromatase inhibitor, which is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer as the first hormonal based therapy. Eye brands plus letrozole was significantly more effective at delaying disease progression versus letrozole. Patients taking eye brands can develop low white blood cell counts, which may cause serious infections that can lead to death. Before taking eye brands, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are pregnant, breastfeeding, or plan to become pregnant. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Corey calls it her new normal because a lot has changed, but a lot hasn't. Ask your doctor about Ibrands, the number one prescribed FDA-approved oral combination treatment for HR-positive, HER2-negative MBC. Is skincare from around the world better than Olay? Olay Regenerous faced 131 premium products from 12 countries over 10 years. Olay's hydration was unbeaten every time. Olay, face anything. If your gums bleed when you brush, you may have gingivitis, and the clock could be ticking towards bad breath, receding gums, and possibly tooth loss. Help turn back the clock on gingivitis with Paradontax. Leave bleeding gums behind. Paradontax. A lot of the clothes you normally take to the cleaners aren't dirty, dirty. They just need a quick refresh. Try new Febreze Clothing Quick Dry Mist. It eliminates odors and refreshes lightly worn clothing. Free. GMA this week. It's Dwayne Idris. And if that's not enough, three epic bachelorette mornings and Hannah B. Live. Good morning, America. Plus, Pitbull's here, too. It is time to check the polls on this Monday morning, and we begin with the last man standing after an epic Fortnite finale. Mm. A Pennsylvania teen is now $3 million richer. His name is 16-year-old Kyle Gearsdorf. Best, who bested 40 million players to win the first ever Fortnite World Cup. The wow. $3 million prize is the largest ever payout to a single player in a tournament like this. He won among, a, he was among 100 finalists competing in New York with his parents and siblings cheering him on. When I started playing, my family was kind of, they weren't too sure about it, but what I told them is that eventually it'd pay off and they just had to believe in me, which pretty much did. I guess it did pay off. Kyle says he doesn't feel like his life has changed yet. He says it will probably kick in a little later. It's going to be real hard to tell your kids to put down the video games now. When they can make $3 million. I, just, goodness. I cannot fathom this. Right. $3 million off a video, video game. game. An addictive video game at that. It's still addictive. There's a warning, a Let the kids you play. should know about it all. No. <laughs> all right, well, now to Chicago and a young boy who was rightfully being called a hero. Five-year-old Jaden Espinoza was staying at his aunt's house over the weekend. He was the only person awake early Saturday when he smelled smoke. That's when he woke up his family telling them to get out. Then Jaden ran downstairs and told neighbors about the fire. He saved everyone. If he hadn't got sent to his auntie's house Wednesday, then he would have never been there to get everybody out of the building. Were you scared? Yes. 
What do you think? I was scared. <laughs> the outsp <laughs> outspoken Jaden also says he's smart and brilliant. His favorite superhero is The Flash, and all he's credited with saving the lives of 13 people in that burning house. A little guy, a big hero. We have something in common. I love The Flash. Yeah. Barry Allen, it's a great series. And Jaden is a hero, and you are here with me. Some little green <laughs> visitors have invaded the Las Vegas Strip. Sin City has been overrun by grasshoppers, oh. and they are not expected to go away for Yikes. at least a few weeks. Scientists say an unusually wet spring and lots of ultraviolet light have made Vegas a popular stop for the bugs. And they even showed up on the weather Whoa. radar. Look at that. Apparently, they cause echoes on the tracking system. Experts say they're annoying but harmless. But I mean, locusts and Sin City. Look at this. Oh. In the Bible. All right, finally, here's something to, ma to make you jump. A dragon field star named Ryan gets a stunning start and makes Ooh. the jump over the six foot tall lifeguard. What? Ryan also knows how to make a splash coming out of the pool. That is incredible. He does it again and again. Again, that's three times if you're not keeping count. And if wow. that wasn't enough to impress, watch what? him do this backflip over a car. Now he's just okay. showing off. All right. Okay, All now right. that's enough. That's enough. Dealing with psoriatic arthritis pain was so frustrating. My skin, it was embarrassing. My joints, they hurt. The pain and swelling. The tenderness. The psoriasis. I had to find something that worked on all of this. I found Cosentix. Now, watch me. Real people with active psoriatic arthritis are getting real relief with Cosentix. It's a different kind of targeted biologic. Cosentix treats more than just the joint pain of psoriatic arthritis. It even helps stop further joint damage. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms. If your inflammatory bowel disease symptoms develop or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to, serious allergic reactions may occur. I got real relief. I got clear skin and feel better. Now, watch me. Get real relief with Cosentix. At Safe Flight Auto Glass, we really pride ourselves on making it easy for you to get your windshield fixed. Let's turn in your science papers. This teacher always puts her students first. I did mine on the <gasps> You did? Oh, I can't wait to read it. So when she had auto glass damage, oh. she chose Safe Flight. With Safe Flight, she could see exactly when we'd be there. You must be Pascal. Yes, ma'am. Saving her time. <laughs> so she can save the science project. Sun care is self care. I used to not love wearing an SPF just because I felt like it was so oily and greasy. But with Olay Regenerist with SPF 25, it's so lightweight. I love it. I'm Busy Phillips and I'm fearless to face anything. When the food you love doesn't love you back, stay smooth and fight hard, burn fast with Tom Smoothies. Top stories, at least three victims have been killed in a shooting rampage at a food festival in Northern California. Fifteen others were injured. Police say the gunman was killed by police. They say that suspect has been identified and they're working to investigate if he has any connections to the festival. One of the victims was a six-year-old boy named Stephen Romero. His mother was among those wounded. She is expected to survive. Director of National Intelligence Dan Coase is resigning after clashing with President Trump for two years. The president plans to replace him with Texas Congressman John Ratcliffe, a former prosecutor who fiercely questioned Robert Mueller last week. Actress Lori Loughlin and her husband are presenting a united front in the college admission scandal. They're planning to use the same attorney. They're are expected to waive their rights for separate attorneys at a hearing next month. Today's weather, hot and mostly sunny in much of the northeast and south. The cold front brings showers to parts of the Midwest. More heat for the west and southwest with triple-digit temperatures. But finally from us this Monday morning, an eight-year-old girl who's taken a swing at stereotypes. She's doing it on the baseball diamond. Here's ABC's Tom Yamas. That's eight-year-old Ashlyn Jolliker oh! making that diving catch. She's out to prove a point, that girls can do anything. Go. Ashlyn's been swinging the bat since the age of one. She's the only girl on her little league team, the Whitby Chiefs. It's fun. 
and Ashlyn is one of their star players. She's so good that in the last 39 games, she's had zero strikeouts and has won five MVP awards. You're proud to be as her dad, seeing how well she's doing. So during a game, her dad was surprised to hear this comment from a parent on an opposing team. Girls shouldn't play baseball, and uh, they should stick to softball. That comment hasn't stopped Ashlyn. I didn't really care about it. Just kept playing. And this week, Ashlyn becoming a viral sensation with more than 4 million views of that video showing her making not one, but three diving catches. And catching the attention of her hometown Toronto Blue Jays. Eight-year-old Ashlyn Jolicoeur. This week, Ashlyn getting invited to the game. It was cool watching batting. They hit it so far. She's even gotten some tips from her favorite player, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladdy said just swing. It's swing hard, right? It's swing hard, yeah. Her dream right now, to play for the national team. I want to be on Team Canada when I'm older. And as she keeps making big plays and even bigger hits, she has this message to other girls out there with big dreams. Keep following your dreams and don't let anybody stop you. <laughs> Pretty cool. Absolutely. Ashlyn there showing us what it means to play and win like a girl. I like it. That's what's making news in America this morning. Stay with us for Good Morning America. Have a great day. Diana Co. Weekends only on KITV4 Island News. Now, from KITV4 Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Coming up on Good Morning Hawaii, tragedy in California. Three people killed at a family-friendly outdoor food festival. The new details now coming in about that shooting this morning. Plus, back here at home, new video showing flames coming from a parking area for a school in Kaimuki. We'll let you know what started it and the extent of the damage. And we've been hearing about this one for a long time. It's been a long wait for drivers on the windward side. The poly is still not fully open just yet, but they are going to be expanding their hours again soon. We'll let you know when you can hit the road. Good morning, Hawaii. Thanks for waking up with us on your Monday at 4.30. I'm Tom George. Maleko has the morning off. We're going to have to get through this Monday together, though, Tasia. We want to check on your weather and traffic first. Good morning. It's, good morning. It's going to be a great morning. We actually have a... Pretty good typical trade wind weather coming in from the east. So it's going to help out make our, our comfortable conditions a full on through for the beginning of this week. We do have 10 to 20 mile per hour winds, what we're expecting throughout the day. Currently in the double digits for Lihue as well as Lanai City. And it'll actually be a bit breezier throughout Maui County. Temperatures are also still doing all right. We're in the upper 70s for Honolulu and Lihue, your cool spot, central part of our Oahu. Now, with trade winds, we do have those trade showers that that's going to help. Help out for your morning and your evening time. Help with the humidity levels go down just a bit. Forecast high today in Kahului at 91 degrees. So right now our Doppler radar picking up a lot of activity for the windward areas. Hawaii Island as well. Hilo Hawaii East all the way down to the southeast point. We're going to get some on and off showers at least for your morning time. Kauai we're expecting partly cloudy conditions picking up rain throughout your midday but overall for the countryside definitely a lot of sunshine. Leeward side is going to see mostly sunny sky just those koalaos a bit wet for your morning and your evening throughout the day nice and sunny Maui County breezy and sunny this morning just starting off with partly cloudy conditions and for our Kailua Kona side we're going to see more sun this morning and then partly cloudy in the afternoon and again we've got a lot of wet moisture making its way over to the whole windward side east and southeast point of our Hawaii Island we're continuing to track the eastern Pacific as you can see we're still waiting on the latest update for this morning tropical storm Eric does have sustained winds at 70 miles per hour located about 1,500 miles east-southeast of Hilo, Hawaii. Coming up, we'll take a look at the updated track. Now, here's a look at your traffic. No major accidents or stalls, but if you're heading to the airport for today, alternating lane closures off of the airport off-ramp from the H1 westbound, 830 to 1. Tom Neal. All right, thanks. Tasia, want to switch gears to that breaking news that we're learning out of California that's still developing right now. Three people are dead and at least 15 others have been injured after a gunman opened fire at a food festival. Now, it happened just shortly after 6 o'clock California time at the Gilroy Garlic Festival. That's about 30 miles south of San Jose. Gilroy police believe the shooter snuck into the festival by cutting through a fence. Officers also say they shot and killed the gunman less than a minute after the attack. As soon as the gunfire started, everybody scattered and people were yelling for their kids. 
and yeah, we just heard this. Like, and so you heard a uh, rapid it like fire. A, it was like a semi-automatic going off really close too. You know, people screaming and hiding and ducking. Just awful, and one of those victims only six years old. Investigators now looking for a possible second suspect. Each year, about 100,000 people attend that Gilroy Garlic Festival, which raises millions of dollars for local schools, charities, and nonprofits. And of course, that shooting also bringing uh, gun control back into the conversation. And in Washington state, some new gun laws there are taking effect. Lawmakers, city and community leaders met yesterday on the anniversary of a deadly shooting to mark the new rules and regulation. School Suzanne Pham has more. 13 years later, my body still remembers and hurts when I go back to that day. It's a horrific experience Cheryl Stumble will never forget. I was 43 years old when I was shocked to find myself flat on my stomach with my arms around my head, waiting for the gunshot that would kill me. On this exact day 13 years ago, Stumbo survived a terrifying shooting. It happened in the offices of the Jewish Federation of Greater Seattle. A man with hate in his heart and a gun in his hand invaded the Federation office. Nancy Greer, the president and CEO of the Jewish Federation, says that day has changed many lives. That awful day 13 years ago propelled the Federation into action advocating for gun violence prevention. On this Sunday, community leaders joined advocates and lawmakers to recognize how much has changed when it comes to buying and owning guns. This was a historic year. This year, the Washington State Legislature passed a record number of gun violence prevention bills. The new laws include promoting safe storage of guns, responsible ownership, and public education. Eight of those bills go into effect today. One new law bans so-called ghost guns. They're untraceable or undetected firearms. These were devices that can be made with this new technology, these, these 3D printers, and these are devices that can get through, uh, the, through metal detectors. A new law applies to domestic violence calls. Preventing domestic abusers from acquiring guns is really important. It really is. So much of the gun violence um, in this country starts with domestic abuse. The Alliance for Gun Responsibility says all these laws will make a dent in reducing violence in our state. We'll go a very long way towards preventing uh, deaths in Washington state. And meanwhile, back here at home, in an effort to prevent a mass shooting here in the islands, Governor David Ige signed a law banning bump stocks in July of last year. Of course, bump stocks were what were used in the Las Vegas shooting. It prohibits the manufacture, importation, sale, and transfer and possession of bump fire stocks, as well as multi-burst trigger activators and trigger cranks. Hawaii has one of the lowest rates of gun violence, and we have some of the strictest gun laws in the nation. Well, a 19-year-old man is in critical condition after crashing his car into a construction waste bin in Waianae Sunday morning. It happened as the car was headed southbound on the Kaneaki Street just before the Punanaula Street intersection. Police say the driver had severe head injuries and was taken to a hospital. They also say speed, speed appears to be a factor. It's not known yet, though, whether drugs or alcohol were involved. And take a look at this right here, these flames coming out of a parking area that's below Lulia Uokalani Elementary School in Kaimuki. Honolulu fire crews say a car caught fire around 640 on Sunday evening. They were able to put it out just about 20 minutes later. According to HFE, uh, HFD, there was no damage to the classrooms located above the flames, but a car, a, car, a car that was parked next to the burning vehicle did sustain some damage. Well, heads up for drivers over on the windward side, the Poly Highway access hours will be extended on Thursday. Those new hours will be Sundays through Fridays. The Honolulu-bound AM Contraflow will be open from 5 to 11.30 in the morning, while the Kailua and Kaneohe-bound Contraflow will be open from 12.30 in the afternoon to 7 in the evening. Now, that's a couple hours later for, uh, for the morning drive and a, couple's earl and a couple hours earlier for the afternoon. So a little bit of extra time for you. The highway will remain closed on Saturdays and on state holidays. All right, we're well, still ahead on Good Morning Hawaii. Early edition, another shakeup in the Trump White House as another top cabinet member calls it quits amid a rough relationship with the president. We'll be right back. Time now, 437. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Aloha Pacific Federal Credit Union. We work hard to put a smile on your face. As a member of Aloha Pacific Federal Credit Union, you get surprisingly low rates on loans. So you can buy that car or house, pay for major expenses, or consolidate debt. We treat your money like we treat you with Aloha. 
and you get expert advice for a better financial future. When you have Aloha, anything is possible. Visit a branch or alohapacific.com. When it comes to affordable home appliances, Ross, hands down, has the best deals on the island. We provide quality, repurposed appliances such as washers, dryers, and microwaves too, all at a fraction of the cost. Every purchase comes with a warranty. We also offer green beds. Every bed is completely rebuilt with new fabric. You won't find a better deal. Ross Appliance and Furniture will save you hundreds, guaranteed. I'm Nicole Kalakau. I'm a trial lawyer at Levitt Yamani and Soldner. There is no greater feeling than helping people who are at their lowest of lows. I hope you never need us. But if you do, we'll do all we can to help. Catch Island Sports with Brad Higa Weeknights at 6 and 10 on KITV4. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event. That means more euphoric feelings that come from getting a great deal on a Honda CRV or HRV. Or from getting a pilot or passport. All part of 2019's best SUV brand. Hurry in today and experience the joy for yourself. Get a great deal on the Honda Pilot, part of 2019's best SUV brand, at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. Time now, 4.39 on this Monday. And we're taking a look at your surf forecast. Not much going on out on the water. Two to four for the east, one to three for the south. Easterly winds, especially from the sea breeze pattern, up to 25, but mostly averaging 10 to 20 throughout your Monday. Flat to two for the north and west. We still have that small craft advisory with seas five to eight feet from Maui County throughout Hawaii Island. That's at least until tomorrow. Low tide this morning around 7 o'clock, high tide around 245, a bit over 2 feet. Now, our early forecast is showing an enhance of shower activity for Kauai, but that could possibly change with just a heads up for that and to prepare for some passing showers throughout the day for Kauai. Mostly cloudy conditions will continue for those Malka spots. Mostly sunny from Oahu throughout Maui County and Hawaii Island. There's a few things going on. Kailua Kona starting off with sunshine, then afternoon clouds. Hilo, Hawaii, all the way down to the south point. We'll get on and off showers throughout the day, at least into your midday. We're picking up a lot of moisture for the tail end of the week and into the weekend, and that's because that track with Tropical Storm Eric is expected to just pass on through to the south. And as you can see, within the cone of uncertainty, we are expecting surf, winds, and some rain. So that's when that's going to happen. And today we are expecting Tropical Storm Eric to actually develop into a hurricane. I'll have a live update on Facebook throughout the day. Now here's a look at your traffic. Clear conditions, no major accidents or stalls. We do have shoulder closures from Waimalu all the way through IEA. That's from 9 to 7 today. So just a heads up for some distraction. We are getting the zipper lane open through Waiava. No major accidents, but we still have a stalled vehicle. This is after manager's drive pulled off to the side shoulder. Could cause some distraction, but nothing really out on the roadways right now. Clear all the way into town. Tom, to you. Sounds good. Thanks, Tasia. Well, Democratic presidential candidate John Delaney putting forward a plan for mandatory national service program for young people. The former Maryland congressman says he wants a program where it would be required for all high school graduates to participate in a service program. The plan would be phased in over time, but it would provide up to three years of free college tuition. Other candidates have also proposed service plans, but Delaney's is the first that would actually require youth to participate. All right, well, turning now to Washington, where the rough relationship between President Donald Trump and the Director of National Intelligence is coming to an end. John Lawrence has more. Dan Coats made it official on Sunday. In a letter to President Trump, the Director of National Intelligence says he is ready to move on to the next chapter of my life. The former Republican senator from Indiana took the position in 2017. His last day will be August 15th. Dan Coats has been DNI for over two years. It's a normal tenure for director of national intelligence. But let's be very clear. Donald Trump is his own director of intelligence. Coates received bipartisan praise after his announcement. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell tweeted that thanks to Coates' leadership, the intelligence community has made a great leap since 2016 to defend our democracy. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi said Coates was respected by those on both sides of the aisle as an American patriot. 
President Trump announced in a Sunday tweet that he's nominating Congressman John Ratcliffe as a successor. The Republican from Texas raised his profile at last week's congressional hearings with former special counsel Robert Mueller. Donald Trump is not above the law. He's not. But he damn sure shouldn't be below the law, which is where volume two of this report puts him. Ratcliffe said in a tweet that he is deeply grateful for the opportunity. I'm John Lawrence reporting. And Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders went to Canada with type 1 diabetes patients who are looking for cheaper insulin. Now, he made that trip yesterday to highlight what he calls the corruption of pharmaceutical companies. Sanders says in Canada, insulin is just one-tenth of the price that it is here in the U.S., and there's some strong evidence that there's price fixing here in the U.S. He also says if he's elected, his attorney general would use antitrust legislation to take on the pharmaceutical industry. Well, still ahead on Good Morning Hawaii, early edition as Hawaiians celebrated the restoration of sovereignty, this year's observance taking on some new meaning as the situation on Mauna Kea is bringing the fight to preserve Hawaiian culture and identity back into the national spotlight. We'll be right back. Right now is the best time to start planning for your future. Whether you're looking ahead to secure your goals with one-on-one -on -one guidance for setting up investments that work for you or taking steps to protect your family with life insurance. And then there's planning for retirement so you can enjoy the things you love with peace of mind. We'll help you meet your goals through life stages. Be ready for what's next with Hamada Financial Group. Contact us today to set a plan for your future. All of us want to have that you know, youthful, spunkful energy that we used to. The Gaines Wave at the Activation Clinic, they use sound waves to promote tissue growth. I kind of like that, that it's just pain-free and I didn't have to pop any prescription medicine pills and it was a very fast procedure. I noticed a significant improvement in my performance in bed. My wife said, wow, it definitely makes me a happier person, I would say, overall. Reclaim your sexual confidence. Call us today for a private consultation. <laughs> Relax, it's just a bug. Ah, that's not a bug! That's not a bug! Hit and drone. Seen it? Covered it. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Catch up on today's top headlines with KITV4's Brenton Awad, 5, 6, and 10. Experience the ultimate in durability and award-winning designs with Prism, the latest in luxury flooring from Armstrong. Dent, scratch, and steam-resistant, Prism flooring is also 100% waterproof, protecting against spills and pets. Choose from 20 uniquely crafted designs where realistic textures combine for the ultimate natural look. To learn more about Prism Luxury Flooring, visit the Homeowners Design Center at 1030 Cobo Street, Honolulu. Installation service is also available. This is Good Morning Hawaii. All right, welcome back. If you're just waking up on your Monday time now, 446. Well, the Mount Akea was also the focus of yesterday's Lahoi Hoi Ea, the annual celebration of Hawaiian restoration. And as KITV 4's Nicole Tam found out, organizers say the event was especially important because of the tension over TMT. A day of education, cultural sharing, and community bonding. The recovery and the restoration, the revitalization of who we are as a people is an important cornerstone of our identity. There was also a clear message, no 30-meter telescope on Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea and the, the protection of it is, has revealed the sacredness to us all that people from all corners of the world are responding to. The celebration was one of the first national holidays of the Hawaiian Kingdom. King Kamehameha III established it in 1843 after a British admiral ordered the Union Jack lowered and the Hawaiian Kingdom flag raised above Honolulu. That was a symbol that restored the kingdom's sovereign control. Days like this, uh, moments like this where we can use our history uh, to also propel that aloha, um, that clarity of understanding of who we are and what we need to do um, is a very important uh, opportunity for us to kind of continue to take as a generation. These signs are some of the names of more than 20,000 signatures from the 1897 Kuei petition to stop the annexation of Hawaii to the United States. 
Hundreds came out Sunday afternoon for chants and a flag ceremony. Some attendees were on the mountain just a few days ago. And as someone who's not Hawaiian, I think it's really impressive and really cool how people are doing all of this work to make sure that the history is passed down and that the younger generations that they know about these types of things happening. A dedicated group that hopes to revitalize a culture and a community. Nicole Tam, KITV4 Island News. Thanks, Nicole. And KITV4 has been following the tension over TMT since opponents first gathered on Mount Akea two weeks ago. We'll, of course, continue to cover this story as it develops. You can find all the background information on our website at KITV.com and across our social media platforms. And speaking of the Big Island, keeping it there, we're giving you a live look through our Hilo Hawaiian Hotel cam. We want to get back to weather and traffic. Tasia, pretty calm right now, but I know you're tracking some uh, action off to the east of the Big Island, right? That's right. We do have passing showers that are going to continue to give us some instability throughout the day from Hilo, Hawaii, all the way down to the southeast. So that's Puna through Ka'u. Hamakua Coast will remain partly cloudy throughout the day. Winds will help us keep those trade showers typically around those windward and Malka spots. Temperatures expected around 89 over on the west side of Kauai, 87 for the east side. Some instability as well around Kauai, just tracking up on our radar. Nothing really, but definitely just expect some passing showers throughout the day. Sunnier conditions more so for Oahu throughout Maui County. Temperatures are expected to be just shy of 90 degrees over the leeward side. 85 for the north, mostly sunny for the leeward sides, partly cloudy for those windward areas. A bit breezier throughout Maui County. That's the reason why we have that small craft advisory at least until Tuesday. Winds up to 25 miles per hour, and we can see that around our central areas of Maui that we could get another 90 degree day. Hawaii Island, Kailua Kona, morning sunshine, afternoon clouds. Hilo Hawaii, passing showers and partly cloudy conditions with easterly winds. We do have some surf for the east, two to four, one to three for the south, very flat for the north and west. We could get up to two feet for today on and off closer to the afternoon. We do have high tide around 245. Now again, most of the showers that we are tracking coming in around Friday, that's due to Tropical Storm Eric. Again, we'll continue to bring you the updates. Hurricane season, we are approaching those busy months, so definitely want to stay prepared. Now, here's a look at your traffic. No major accidents or stalls are still yet, but Moana Lua, we do have shoulder lane closures from Moana Lua Freeway in the westbound direction. This is at the Fort Shafter off ramp 7 to 3.30 today. So just a heads up because that bend is pretty comes up pretty quickly and we're going to have some construction right there, so definitely be on high alert. We did have a stalled vehicle right here at Fort Weaver in Kolowaka. It just has been cleared. And your drive times from Eva Beach to town, 27 minutes. Tom, to you. Now to entertainment news, Qu director Quentin Tarantino's latest flick is a box office smash and Disney mourning the loss of a legend. For the latest on what's happening in Hollywood, here's Christopher Watson. It's official, old buddy. And it has been. Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood scored the filmmaker his best ever domestic opening, $40.35 million for a decisive second place debut. That's right on track with the high end of pre-release estimates. And even though business dropped nearly 61% over last week's debut, Disney's The Lion King easily held on to first place, taking in another $75.5 million for a two-week total domestic gross just shy of $351 million. They rescued it after Sci-Fi canceled it. Now Amazon's renewed The Expanse for a fifth season before the fourth even premieres. A vote of confidence as well for Amazon's Carnival Row, which gets a second season ahead of the season one premiere next month. I'm as hazy and as crazy as a daydream. She provided the voice of Minnie Mouse for over 30 years. Actress Rusi Taylor has died. She was 75 years old. And happy birthday to country singer Martina McBride. She's 53 today. And that's what's happening in Hollywood. I'm Christopher Watson, ABC News. All right, we're still ahead on Good Morning Hawaii Early Edition. UH students getting their hands dirty, learning all things native Hawaiian plants. Time now, 4.52. Breezeway proudly introduces the Stronghold system, which has been designed to make louvers stronger, safer, and more secure. Locally made in Hawaii, 
The stronghold is tested to withstand a load of 150 pounds. Give us a call at 484-5999 or visit breezeway.com. Services, my cut you law. Pimoa, he hoping to and from your heart. Our big on a discount service is for sure. Hi, Nike, my capuana, hey, Kawaii, Kaholo in the cab. We thank you to and from the airport with big discount. Go dial for to do to do to do the cab. From the smallest cottage to the largest house on the block, Wisteria Lane has something for everyone. Transform your home with one of our wide selection of flooring. A luxurious look for the everyday homeowner and with an unbeatable pricing. Visit Wisteria Lane today. Catch Island Sports with Cody Croft. Weekends on KITV4. When Roy decided to create an elegant interior for his original restaurant, the Roy's in Hawaii Kai, one name popped up, Kevin from Selective Stone. Kevin is a professional. His products are just number one. It was absolute a pleasure to deal with Kevin and his team. There is no other company we will deal with other than Selective Stone. Selective Stone, a Kamaina company, services the commercial and residential industry for over 20 years. The low prices are just a part of our great service. 454 and a heads up on the roads for the west side lane closures on Farrington Highway westbound direction. This is from Old Fort Weaver Road and Kualakai Parkway, 830 to 3 o'clock, and that's for tree trimming. We do have that zipper lane open through Waiava, just about to open through Waikele. Stalled vehicles still pulled off to the side. This is after Manager's Drive. Drive times into town from the west side, just a bit over an hour, under half an hour from Eva Beach, less than 20 minutes from Hawaii Kai. Now here's a look at your Monday forecast. Sir, for today is calm. The most of the bump we're getting is over on the east, 2 to 4, 1 to 3 for the south, flat to 2 for the north and west, and high tide around 245. Small craft advisory due to our moderate to breezy winds today, Maui County throughout Hawaii Island. Satellite and radar is picking up just those trade showers focused over windward and Malka areas. Partly cloudy conditions with passing showers through Kauai, as well as this band of moisture moving in through the east southeast point of our Hawaii Island. So definitely expect some wet weather there. Partly cloudy conditions rolling in over Kailua Kona by the afternoon. Eastern Pacific picking up these two systems. Now Tropical Storm and just west or just east of Tropical Storm Eric now has a name. So now it's a Tropical Storm Flossie. So as you can see, pretty busy within the Eastern Pacific. It is staying low. That's where the sea surface temperatures are also pretty warm, so lots of fuel to help power that. We're expecting a hurricane, uh, tropical storm to bump up to a hurricane later on this afternoon, so I'll bring you the latest update with that as well. But for now, just stay safe and also stay prepared. Today is Monday forecast, sunrise at 6.02, sunset just around my bedtime, 7.12. Sunday for your leeward side and partly cloudy for the windward areas. Tom, to you. Thanks, Tasia. Well, undergraduate students with the University of Hawaii at Manoa turned a Malama Aina moment into an experience on education. As part of the school's undergraduate research opportunities program, these scholars didn't shy away from getting their hands dirty at UH Manoa's Lion Arboretum. While helping in the native Hawaiian plant area, more than a handful of students and non-students learned about the area's ahupua'a. One dietetics major says opportunities and programs like these th give students from all different disciplines a chance to build their skills outside uh, and from within their respective research. My partner and I were able to receive training in Canada and that was all funded by Europe. So without them, that would not have been possible. We weren't able to collaborate with the researchers there if it weren't for their help. And she says she's also developing a mobile help app that's meant to track fruit and veggie intake and per to prevent uh, and treat diseases like obesity. Pretty cool idea. Time now, 4.57. We're working on some news stories for you coming up in the next hour. So next at 5, shopping without getting out of the car. Sounds nice, right? Well, it's a new concept Walmart and Nordstrom are trying to make things even easier for you. Plus, a Hawaii lawmaker in a war of words with a TMT supporter, the battle that's now playing out on, on social media over what some are calling racist language against Native Hawaiians. Good Morning Hawaii coming up right after the break. Stay with us. Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. 
Medicaid 08 is a Hawaii-based family-owned CBD store that specializes in pain relief.